The sbase calc all command is the easiest way inside of an sbase calc script to calculate the entire sbase BSO database. The calc all command will take all lower level dense and sparse members and aggregate them up to any stored upper level member. It will also go to any member that has a formula on it that's marked as stored and calculate those formulas as well. Now, since we're calculating the entire database, you're not gonna see calc all inside of a fixed statement. You're just gonna see it on a line by itself that says calc space all semicolon. Now, there is an optional argument. We can tell it that we want to omit certain dimensions or certain members by saying calc all except and then either dim or mbr. Let me explain. Calc all will definitely calculate the entire database, but let's say we don't need to calculate time. Maybe time is a dense dimension, all the upper level members are dynamic. I don't want it to waste time calculating it. I can say calc all except dim time. Or maybe I have a stored sparse scenario dimension and it has members with formulas that are stored for some crazy reason. I could say calc all except dim scenario and it would ignore it. Now I can, if I want to ignore multiple dimensions, I could say calc all except dim time comma measures, and it will do all the aggregation, all the member formulas on all the dimensions except time and measures. I can use that same technique, but change the dim to an MBR if I want to omit specific members themselves. So let's say in my scenario dimension, I had a member called variance with a formula on it, and it was for some crazy reason stored. I could say calc all except MBR variance, and it's going to do the entire database except that specific member. Or maybe I also stored variance percentage because I figured, wow, more stored scenario members of formulas, the better. I could say calc all except MBR variance comma variance percentage, and it's gonna do all the members except variance and variance percentage. You can even put a member set function in the parentheses if you want. So I could, if I wanted to, calculate all of the dimensions and all the members in the dimensions except the things beneath diet just by saying calc all except MBR, parentheses, at descendants, parentheses, diet, parentheses, parentheses, semicolon. So when you run the calc all command, it aggregates the dimensions and calculates the member formulas in a very specific order. It goes to the outline, and whatever dimension is flagged as the accounts dimension, it's going to do first, even if it's a sparse dimension. Then it's going to go to whatever dimension is tagged as time, and it's going to do that second. Followed by all the dense dimensions in the order there in the outline. Followed by all the sparse dimensions in the order there in the outline. Now, if accounts and time are marked as dense dimensions, this is going to result generally in one pass through the database. However, if accounts or time are sparse, this could actually result in going through the entire database twice. So be very, very careful with the calc all command. If your accounts flag dimension or your time flag dimension is actually a sparse dimension, you're most likely going to want to use either the calc dim or the ag command to control the order it does the aggregations in that case.